Welcome to Machinist Evolution. Today we're going to be going over the control panel, tool data, and tool file. Let's get into it. This is the control panel. Here's the MDI button. That's the single block button. And the coolant on off button. Here are your speeds for your manual pulse generator. This is your home button. This is your memory button and all the options in the memory tab. Press the left arrow once to see options in the memory tab. Press it again to open up more options. Press the right arrow to see other options. This is the ATC stop button. Automatic tool change stop. One of my favorite features. Hit the right arrow to get to the restart button. This is the inner work light on and off button. This is the program monitor button. This is the reset button. That's the optional stop button. This is block skip button. Now we'll go to the tool data. It's important to keep your tool data clean and know what's in there. Each of my end mills are sequentially numbered, followed by my taps, then by all my drills, all sequentially numbered. In case a tool is taken out, I always know which one is gonna be missing. Now let's go to the tool file. To input a tool into the tool file, select the tool type and the tool size you want to put in. Enter A for aluminum, a carbide tool, depth of cut 1.25, and a three foot. That's how you enter a tool into the tool file. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.